Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you an awesome tool that I found recently for converting a Python script into an executable file using a graphical interface. So you might be wondering that, well, we already got PyInstaller can do that, which is cool if you prefer to use the command line. Some of us might prefer having a graphical interface uh, to do the same thing. So that's where auto pi to exe comes into play. It's also very easy to use because it's got a graphical interface. By converting a Python script to an executable file, we can send it to our friends to run on their computers, even if they don't have Python installed. And they also don't need to have any of the libraries required to run the code. All they need is this executable file and they'll be able to run it on any machine. Before diving into how to use this awesome tool, I want to remind you guys that always make sure to remove your IDs and password before sending any code out to other people. And the other thing is, it's better to use a virtual environment for our project if you plan to convert it into an executable file because that way we can create an isolated environment that has the absolute minimum libraries to make the code run. And we just need to make sure that all the required libraries are installed in this virtual environment. So let's start by creating a virtual environment. So in the comment prompt, first of all, we just need to navigate into the folder that we want to store the work. And to create a virtual environment, simply type python -m vn. So this vn means uh, we are running the python virtual environment command and the name of the virtual environment. I've already created my virtual environment, uh, which is here. So what I've done was python -m vn base vn. The first vn is the virtual environment command and the second vn is the name of my virtual environment. So I'm not gonna run it here because I've already created it. So to activate the virtual environment, simply go to VM scripts and type activate. Once you see this VM appear in front of the command line, it means we've successfully activated our virtual environment. And inside here, I'm gonna do pip install auto pi to exe. We also have to make sure that we install all the required libraries to run our code. So for this demonstration, I'm going to make the Amazon price tracker bot into an executable file. And I know that my Amazon price tracker bot also uses Selenium. So I've also installed Selenium in here. To open the graphical interface for auto pi to exe, simply just type the auto pi to exe. And the graphical interface will pop up. It's quite easy to use, uh, just a few steps. So first step, of course, we need to select a Python script that we want to convert to the executable file. And here I'm going to use my Amazon price tracker bot, which is this final uh, script. And I'm going to use that. And the second step, as you can see, we get to choose whether we want to make uh, one file or make one folder. So I prefer to have just one file. It's much easier to deal with one file than a folder of files. For the console window, I usually just choose the console base. Then I'm going to skip ahead these ones and go straight into settings. So here you can choose where you want to store the final executable files to. And in my case, I want to store in this auto pi to exe folder and press select. Make sure this is the right folder that you want to save to. So when we give this application to our friends, ideally they just need to double click it and the program should run. So it's important to include any required files together with our application. And in our case, our application requires the Chrome driver so we'll add it to the package as well. Then in this additional files setting, we can add file. Basically, we just need to add this Chrome driver. Click on open. There's a caveat here because when we use the one file option together with the additional files, we need to tweak our code a little bit. Otherwise, the final application will not work. And the reason is that PyInstaller unpacks the data files into a temporary folder called sys.com. MEI pass. So we have to instruct our code to pick up files from uh, this right place. In this case, we need our Chrome driver to be stored here. What I've done here is that I created this function to include the appropriate folder for our Chrome driver with sys.mei pass. I'm adding that pass for the Chrome driver.exe file. Then here I'm passing the right folder path for the Chrome driver. I usually prefer having a custom icon for my application. So let's go ahead and add that. 
to add an icon for our application, just go to the icon section. I'm going to select the icon file for this application. Note that the icon file has to be a .ico format. And you can use this website to convert pictures. Um, it could be .jpg or .png file format into ICO files for free. It's uh, favicon.io. Now, because I've already created my ICO file, I'm just going to select it here uh, for this icon option. And once everything is done, you can just click on this convert pi convert.py to .exe uh, button. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that if you look into this box here, this is basically the current command, which means the command it's going to execute once you click on this button here. And as you can see, this is actually calling the Py installer module. So essentially this auto Py to exe is kind of a graphical user interface wrapper for uh, the Py installer, because if you just run this in your command line, it will do the same thing and let's convert it. This is because I've already created my executable files in the same folder. So I'm just going to click OK and override that. And now PyInstaller will start to do the work. So the conversion is done and the final file is saved here. I'm going to run this and see if it works. So what it does is it will open up a browser and check the price on Amazon and send myself an email to this mailbox here. Let's try that. So the code finished running and as we can see we got this email from ourselves. So this is how you can use a graphical interface tool, auto py to exe, to convert convert a Python script into an executable file that you can run on pretty much any computer. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. It's gonna help the channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. That's all for today. Thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next one.